<clears throat> Hi folks, uh, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I just want to talk about anger against slavery in the Bible. Uh, today I was out uh, doing some outreach in Manchester, sharing the gospel, and a young gentleman with his girlfriend, who was a little bit tipsy, came up to me as I was singing a song and sharing the gospel. Now, this young gentleman asked me a question. He said, how can you believe something where it promotes slavery in the Bible? I tried to answer him, and then he said it again. How can you believe something in the Bible about slavery? I tried to answer him, and then he got irate, and he began to get really angry with me and say, you know, how can you believe in something that promotes slavery in the Bible? At this point, he, he, he got so angry that I just couldn't even talk to him. And I just want to say to you today that you people who get angry at Christians or angry at the Bible, you know, it's an excuse for you to be narrow-minded and bigoted and to be aggressive against pe other people. If you'd have given me time to explain, if you study ancient Near Eastern scholarship, they don't talk about slavery in the Bible because the slavery that we think today is not the same kind of slavery in the ancient Near East. It's quite much complex, much more complex than you would actually think. So, for example, in the Bible, you know, sl slavery in the Old Testament is more like family. They're part of family. An example is as well that slaves in the Old Testament had rights, human rights, which the idea when you say, you know, how can you believe the Bible uh, that it promotes slavery? Your idea of slavery is that people didn't have any rights, didn't have any, any, um, you know, that they were owned by their, their uh, owners and, and, and that was it. So you've got to be very, very careful and you've got to look at the culture of the time. You've got to look at the Old Testament text. I think uh, Dustin Seeger's, an apologist uh, has done a good video on slavery in the Bible. If you go and, and, and have a look at his work. So my point here is when you get angry at slavery in the Bible, it's because you want to be narrow minded and bigoted rather than actually think and be rational and discuss and, and, and open up and chat and to be open to discussion and, and debate. And all you're doing is browbeating and intimidating your opponent rather than actually engage on an intellectual level. Thank you for listening and God bless you. If you want to look at slavery in the Bible, look at Christian Think Tank. Type in Christian Think Tank Slavery and the Bible or Slavery in the Bible Christian Think Tank. And you'll get an excellent article there that will really help you to grapple with this topic. And it will be a blessing to you. God bless.